What is going on everybody, Dog and Barack here. Today we're going to teach you guys how to get from 1 to 99 Hunter on Old School RuneScape. In this guide I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to get to 99, as well as a few alternative methods if you choose to take them. Before we start this guide I just want to ask if you guys could consider leaving a sub. That would be awesome, only 2.5% of you guys have subscribed currently and I'm really trying to boost those numbers so if you guys enjoy the content that you're seeing, please consider leaving a sub. Let's get into the guide. So to start off with Hunter, to get from level 1 to level 9 you guys want to go to the Varrock Museum. You guys can get there by just going east and slightly north of the Varrock Square. And once you get there, click walk down the stairs and talk to Orlando Smith. He's going to ask you to identify some of the display cases that they have there. So you guys just want to go to each of the display cases, click study the plaque, and then answer what the correct option is for what's in the display case. If you have roulette, it'll automatically tell you what the correct option is. So just do all of those. And once you've finished identifying all of the display cases, go ahead and talk to Orlando Smith and he'll bring you right up to level 9 Hunter. This saves you a good amount of time, honestly, so I highly recommend getting level 9 by doing the Varrock Museum quiz. And once you've done that, you're ready for the next thing. So from level 9 to 15, you guys want to grab one bird snare out of your bank. You can grab additional ones if you'd like, but you can only plant one trap at the moment. Then you want to teleport to Piscatorius by getting either Piscatorius Teleport Scroll, or by using Fairy Ring AKQ. You can also run from Trinome Stronghold, and run northeast from Trinome Stronghold, if you're at Piscatorius, just run south up until you see the little hunter icon and place your bird tra uh, bird snare right where you see the copper tails flying around. Once a copper tail sees the trap, it'll eventually get caught in the trap or set off the trap for failure. If it sets off the trap for failure, you just want to replace the trap. It successfully captures it. It'll turn green on rune light and you guys could just reset the bird trap by clicking check and then replacing your bird trap. You'll get bird meat and bones and some feathers with this. You don't need to keep any of that if you don't want it. You guys could just drop it. But do this to level 15 and then we'll move on to the next thing. From level 15 to 29, you guys want to grab a few butterfly jars and a butterfly net. And you want to stay in the same area where the copper tails are, just west of that. And you'll see these little red butterflies flying around. You want to hold shift and right click on the ruby harvest butterfly. And click tag all if you have rune light. This will make all of the ruby butterflies highlight themselves so you guys can see them easier. And you want to run around and just start catching all of them. And they'll respawn pretty quickly and you want to do this to level 29. Once your butterfly jars are full you guys could empty them by clicking release. Do this up until you get to level 29 and we'll move on to the next thing. From level 29 to 43 you guys want to go ahead and teleport to the ectofungus. And then just run slightly north and Talk to Andres with 10k in your inventory, you guys can board his boat. Once you board his boat, just run all the way north, you guys should see a little hunter icon. Once you get over there, you'll see a few trees and you want to click set up trap on the young tree. At this point you guys can plant two traps, so go ahead and plant two traps and wait for the swamp lizards to get caught in your traps. Additionally, if you guys don't want to go to this location, which I personally think is the best location, you guys could go ahead and go to the locations up in Canifis. And you guys can get there by going through the swamp. And there's two spots where the swamp lizards are. So if you guys would choose to go there and not spend the 10k, you guys could also do that. I know for Iron Man, some of you guys may prefer to go to the Canifis area. But this one is usually the one I go to, so it's up to you guys. But you'll be doing this to level 43. From level 43 to 47, you guys want to go back to Piscatorius with just money in your inventory. You don't need anything else except maybe a few staminas if you'd like them. And then go ahead and run slightly east from the Fairing AKQ. And talk to Matthias in the little bird hunting area. Ask him to have a go with his bird. He'll give it to you for 500 coins. Once he gives it to you, just run south. And once you get south, you'll see spotted kebits. You want to right click on the spotted kebits and click tag all so you guys know which ones are spotted and which ones aren't because there are three different types of kebits here but you're only wanting to catch the spotted ones at the moment once you catch those you want to go ahead and just click catch on them if you have the bird that your bird should just go ahead and fly after them i highly recommend just picking an area where three of them spawn so as you guys can see in the area that i'm at three of them spawn right there so i go ahead and let the bird chase them and by the time the second one is done the other ones start respawning now, you guys want to do this from pretty close to the actual kebit itself, otherwise your bird will just take a long time to travel. So, you guys just want to get as close as possible by just running towards the kebit and then clicking catch to reduce the, the fly time for the bird and increase your XP per hour. You'll be doing this to level 47. 
from level 47 to 59 you guys want to go ahead and grab a few nets and ropes out of your bank again and then you guys want to get a necklace of passage and teleport to the eagle station which is the eagle eerie teleport on your necklace of passage once you get there just run south up until you see the little hunter icon and then you want to run a little south past that until you see where the orange salamanders are and a few trees to set up your traps so you guys want to have a few desert robes on as well as some water skins so that the desert heat does not basically kill you and again you guys want to plant your traps just like the swamp lizards go ahead and plant them wait for the orange salamanders to get caught and then go ahead check the trap and replant the trap you guys are going to be doing this to level 59. If you run out of water skins beforehand, you could teleport out and go get more water skins. If you don't have water skins, you're just going to get hit by the desert heat. So I highly recommend doing this with water skins. Otherwise, you're just going to be teleporting to a bank every 10 seconds. From level 59 to 67 or 80 if you'd like to avoid going to the wilderness, you guys want to go ahead and teleport to Castle Wars with your ropes and nets again and run all the way north up until you get to the Irani altar and then you'll see the red salamanders over there so just like all the other salamanders you guys want to plant your traps and wait for the red salamanders to get caught on this you guys will be doing this to level 67 alternatively you guys could go to level 80 if you're a hardcore man and don't want to go to the wilderness or you just don't like the wilderness in general you guys could do this to level 80 that's perfectly fine but the xp at the black salamanders is a lot higher than here so if you guys aren't afraid of going to the wilderness, then go ahead and do this to level 67. If you guys want to completely avoid going to the wilderness, then do this to level 80. From level 67 to 80, if you guys decided to not do the red salamander method, you guys can go ahead and teleport to the Ferox Enclave. Or you guys could use your burning amulet and teleport to the Chaos Temple. From here, you guys want to run east up until you see where the lava is. Run to the opposite side of the lava. And you'll see black salamanders going around. So you'll see the trees over here. You guys could actually mark the tile over there because it's hard to see the trees for some people. So if you guys want, you guys can mark the tiles. It's not, you know, you're not required to mark them, but I just go ahead and mark them. So you'll be doing this to level 80 and it's a lot faster than doing the red salamander. So you shouldn't be here long. And honestly, PKers don't really come here because they have nothing to gain from here. Whereas black chinchampas, they have something to gain there because they can get money if they kill you with the black chinchampas. Here they gain nothing, so... You'll be doing this to level 80, and you shouldn't really have a problem with PKers here. Unless, you know, they want your ropes and nets, which I don't see why they would. From level 80 to 99, you guys have a few options. The first option is hunting red chinchampas at the public grounds. So, all you need for this is a few box traps, and go ahead and teleport to the felled up hills. And it's right at the teleport, just slightly east. You'll see red chinchampas, like, floating around. And you guys can go ahead and plant your traps here. At level 80, you guys can plant five traps. So... You guys could catch red chinchampas earlier than this, but I would not recommend doing them before level 80 because it's just the XP rates and the actual catch rates are just garbage up until level 80. So you guys want to go ahead and plant your five traps and then just wait for the chinchampas to either set the trap to failure or get caught successfully. Here, your XP rates won't be that high because the bots that come here are just, there's not that many chinchampas here. But some of you, like Iron Man, that prefer to do it here could do it if you guys don't have the private hunting grounds if you guys do i'm going to show you guys how to get to the private hunting grounds now if you guys have the hard western provinces diary done you guys could go ahead and use the private area here your xp rates will be doubled and your chins per hour will also be doubled so you guys can get there by just running slightly southwest of where the filled up hills teleport is once you get there enter the cave and you'll see a crap ton of chinchampas there so you guys want to go anywhere where you see chinchampa spawning and go ahead and plant your five traps again. Once you plant your five traps, just wait for them again just to go in there or to set the trap to failure. And you guys could do this to level 99 like I said. Or you guys could use some of the other methods if you'd like. But this is by far the best area to hunt chins if it is available to you. Additionally, if you have the Song of the Elves quest done, you guys could also use the Prip Spot to hunt chins. But I highly recommend using the private area if you could. Another method you guys could use from 80 to 99 is hunting herbivores. I highly recommend having an herb sack here because you're going to get a lot of herbs and it's very good for Ironmen. So if you guys don't have an herb sack, that's also fine. You're just going to have to either bank your herbs or just drop them. And you'll also need some stamina here because you will be doing a lot of running around. So to get here, all you want to do is go to Fossil Island and use the Mushroom Meadow Tree for a teleport. And once you get to Mushroom Meadow, you want to go ahead and click Inspect on the rock right next to the Mushroom Tree. 
And then if you have rune light, it'll show you a little white trail of where to follow. And if you follow there, you guys can just go to the next trap that it shows you. If you don't have rune light and you're doing this on mobile or something, then it shows you the little paw prints on the floor that you guys just want to follow up until the next little area that you guys could use to track. Once you get to where the herbivore is actually staying at, you'll see a, the attack tunnel option. So go ahead and click attack tunnel and the herbivore is going to come out stunned. You guys can go ahead and just click harvest on the herbivore. And it'll put the herbs either in your inventory or in your herb sack if you have that. So the XP that you get from this actually scales based on your level. So as your level gets higher, you'll also get more XP from this. But this is a great method to get to 99 as the XP rates here are pretty high. And it's very good for getting money from herbs. So once you hunt, the, once you attack the Erebor, you guys can go ahead and go back to the start. And just inspect the rock again. There's a few areas where you guys can start it. So you'll see some areas that highlight blue. So you guys can do this to 99 if you choose to do so, or you guys could swap between this and the Wretched Chompas. I personally did the Wretched Chompas to 99, but the method that you guys want to take is up to you. And I know a lot of Ironmen prefer doing Irby, so you guys can do that if you'd like. The last method could actually be started at level 60, and it's Maniacal Monkeys. And to get there, you guys need to complete Monkey Madness 2. And you'll also need a few Bones to Banana tablets, and a few Bananas in inventory, as well as a Crux Grigri. To get there, you guys want to go northwest of Ape Atoll and enter the little trapdoor that you guys used during Monkey Madness 2. Once you get down there, go ahead and run north to the monkey bars and you want to be Gruck and swing across the monkey bars. Then enter the passage north, run down the stairs and go ahead and board one of the stunted demonic gorillas to the east. Once you get on the demonic gorilla, you want to go ahead and go to any of the boulders in the room and place your banana under there and wait for a monkey to get stuck. Here, you can only place one trap at a time, so this makes it pretty AFK as you wait for the monkeys to go ahead and get stuck in there. Now, during the downtime, there are bones scattered across the room that you guys could pick up, and you will need them once you run out of bananas, so once you run out of bananas, just go ahead and use your bones to bananas tablet to turn those bones into bananas. And you guys can do this all the way up to 99 if you choose to do so. Or if you just want to break from just constant clicking from Hunter, you guys could do this as a pretty AFK method. It doesn't bring that much XP an hour. At level 60, you'll get 60k. At level 70, you'll get 70k. At level 90, you'll get 100k. But if you're using this as an AFK method, you shouldn't really expect the highest XP rates. You guys can go ahead and do this to 99 if you choose to do so. One thing that everybody should be doing is birdhouse runs. They give h passive Hunter XP. And it's great for Iron Man if you guys want to get crushed bird's nests, as well as seeds that you guys could use for farming in the future. So I highly recommend doing this. On the screen right now, you guys will see what bird's nests you guys could do at what levels. With bird nests, all you guys need is a clockwork and the best log that you guys could use, as well as some seeds to fill up the bird's nest with. You guys want to go ahead and go to Fossil Island and go to Verdant Valley first. Here you guys can plant two of the best bird's nests that you guys can plant and go ahead and fill those with seeds. Once you finish those, you guys want to go back to the Mushroom Tree and teleport to Mushroom Meadow. Once you get to Mushroom Meadow, there's two more bird's nests here, one north and one south. So go ahead and plant those bird's nests there. And then after about every 50 minutes, you guys can go ahead and collect your bird's nests and then place the new ones down. You won't need another clockwork after the first one is made. So you'll get the clockwork back, but you will need the logs again. And you will want to bring a hammer and a chisel because you can't put those together without that. But this is something that you guys should all be doing for Passive Hunter XP, and it honestly is a massive help, especially in the earlier levels, so I highly recommend doing this for Passive Hunter XP. If you guys enjoyed this guide, please remember to give it a like, and as well as subscribing to the channel. Like I said, I only have 2.5% of you guys subscribed, and I'm really trying to boost those numbers, so if you guys enjoyed it, please consider doing that, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day.